Is there a protocol on removing from play? As important, if not more important, than returning to play and having a protocol for return to play is a protocol for removal from play. Because if an individual is concussed, returning that individual to harm's way could risk another injury, which could be much more serious because now you're injuring an already injured brain. The Mayo Clinic has uh, several different components for its baseline testing, which involves of course, cognitive testing, the rapid number naming test um, by King Divic, as well as balance testing. If any of those markers are abnormal um, or increased from their baseline, it's time to pull that child out from the game. An important thing is really to be watching, certainly, because a lot of times these hits happen away from the ball or away from the action. So we want to be watching the whole field of play for somebody who takes a hard hit or maybe acting a little bit off. If there's a suspected hit and somebody comes off and you have a medical professional such as an athletic trainer or physician on the sideline, then there's probably a series of steps that they will go through. They're going to first, of course, observe the athlete. Watch if there's any evidence of balance problems, staring, blank, vacant look, holding their head, anything that might be an observable sign or symptom of concussion. The symptoms that might present at first impact are, I think about the, the mnemonic sets, where S stands for somatic. What it means is physical symptoms like headache, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to sound, um, dizziness, unsteadiness. The E is for emotion, uh, a change in mood, irritability, sadness. The T is thinking, foggy thinking, uh, clouded, trouble processing information. The S in sets is sleep, but that comes later after you're off the field, so people might, might sleep too much might always want to sleep, or maybe can't sleep at all. So after we've looked at those objective signs and symptoms, then we can do the standardized assessment of concussion, which involves a little bit of learning and memory, as well as concentration and orientation questions. They're also going to look at balance using something such as time tandem gait, and then also the King Divic test, which looks at ocular motor function on the sideline. Generally speaking, if they fail any of those, they should be removed from play and then further evaluated. If they're really having difficulty coordinating their movements or having weakness on one side of the body or the other, if they're vomiting and they're unable to control it, these are concerning symptoms that means that the child needs to be taken immediately to an emergency room. Call 911 if needed. If you see that child is not behaving as typical or there's some other indications that maybe they took a really hard hit, it's important to bring them out. While your athlete is playing the sport that they love to play, we're also protecting their brain health. The brain is something they're gonna use for the rest of their lives. They will thank you for your diligence.